And welcome back to another car boot tie haul. Oh, done really well this week uh, for a change. As you can see, two boxes of toys, or oh, Ben 10, and a uh, mixed bunch of stuff. Uh, £10 for both, so £5 each. I was happy with that. Now, I haven't been through them properly, but. I did spot this, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to buy it. A D&D uh, &D figure from... Um, I think we'll see that. 1983. And... Oh, this action was working when I checked it a minute ago. Oh, there we go. No sword though, unless it's at the bottom, but I can't see it, so I presume it's not. Uh, a whole bunch of Ben 10 stuff. Uh, some of them are missing, like things like tails. All the bits, but again, five quid for the whole lot. That's pretty good. So, that was one thing. Uh, we got some books. The Mighty World of Marvel, 1979. The year I was born, pretty good condition. Marvel's superhero omnibus. Looks pretty good. Again, looks like pretty good condition. Uh, what? This isn't uh, as old, I think. Oh, no, 1987. Yeah, so not as old as the other one, and a 1985 Batman annual. Again, they're on in pretty good condition, oh, apart from that. Jinx myself there, it's been sellotaped. Never mind, they cost, um, I think they were a pound each, which is, they did have uh, a load more, but I didn't buy them. Uh, well, they were the best ones anyway. Some more action figures. Well, say action figures, that's the dinosaurs. They bought this generic sort of dinosaur. My favourite. A two headed sort of Chinese Nokia type thing. I don't even know what these were, but they were from the 1980s anyway. Pretty awesome. And these two, which are from the uh, the old Godzilla movie, four for a pound. There's a bit there, and I just chuck that one in. Well, I think that one's vintage as well. But yeah, four for a pound. Plastic dinosaurs. Um, Again, as it happened to fall for a pound, was some uh, Hasbro Heroes and uh, uh, next one night uh, figure, not complete. Oops. The dogs are running around. Sorry about that. And. Here we have some action figures. Uh, I'm not sure who this is. I thought it was Michael Morbius at first, but um, it's DC, I think. I think. Um, Kenner, DC Comics, 1997. It's quite old. Uh, all there, complete. And we also got this bootleg. Uh, wrestler figure, really cool. Uh, another eighties one, awesome. Uh, they're pound each. And then I get excited because I saw Blood Bowl, which is a 
Warhammer game that I used to play all the time when I was uh, younger. Uh, when I asked asked how much they wanted for it, they, they warned me that it's pretty much empty. Pretty much everything is missing. It's got a few things. Uh, these are printed actually. Oh, that one isn't. These are all printed off. Uh, it's got some of the um, the uh, team names and the board seems to all be there, but that's it. There's uh, nothing else. Um, he wanted three quid for it. I said I'd give him two quid. I pretty much only bought it because I used to have it. And now I can put this on a shelf. Doesn't actually matter if it's not complete. Um, if it's just going on a shelf. Now, the uh, my favourite thing that I picked up was I actually finally, finally found Ghost Castle at the car boot. Um, used to play this all the time as a kid. I don't know what year it's from, it's um hmm. It's nineteen eighty five Milton and Bradley. Never seen one at tell a lie. I once saw somebody walking away with one I thought, ah, I just missed out on uh, Ghost Castle and these sell for I don't know, at least thirty pounds. Uh, at least thirty pounds. They've got to be more like forty, fifty. Uh, so I'm really happy to find that box is a bit tatty. As you can see there, it's been kept in someone's garage or something. It's got damp and a bit mouldy. Um, two quid. Bargain. It's actually cellar taped up, so I haven't seen in it. It does sound like there's a lot in there. And now. The weirdest thing is when I went to the next car boot, I found another one. Having never seen them, <laughs> well, I've never been able to buy them at the car boot, I find two in one week. Amazing. Now, this one, I looked inside it, most of it is missing. Um, yeah, a lot of it is missing. I'm hoping there is a couple of bits. Uh, it's got some of the little ghost heads. I'm hoping between the two of them I can get one complete set that I could actually use. Um, yeah, not even. A, oh, there is a board. Oh, wait a minute, there is a board. That's, I didn't think there was a board, but it's all tucked underneath. Oh, that's awesome. Very cool. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I, I paid £3 for this one, which is, even though it seems like there's less in it than that one, it's, it's still a bargain. I mean, this this little skull. I can put that on eBay for £5. I will get £4, £5 for it, plus maybe a pound postage, so... That's crazy, but yeah, really, really happy to find that. I think this box is actually better than the other one. So yeah, I'm gonna. The bottom's better. The uh, this side is damaged. So yeah, that's absolutely awesome. I'm gonna strip both of them down. Hopefully, get a full set, or at least nearly full. So yeah. So that would have cost me what five pounds. If I can get a complete one, actually, um, even if I don't get a complete one, the spares in there will more than get my five pound back. So I'll get either a complete one or a near complete one, hopefully, and my money back, and maybe even a profit on it. So, absolute bargain. And that's it for the, this week. So, hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, ta for now.